hi guys welcome back to my channel um i hope everybody's doing well um it's really cold in cape town today um so i'm making a bread and butter pudding please give this video a like i would really appreciate it um subscribe if you haven't already okay so the first thing my oven is preheating at 180 degrees um i've got six slices of raisin bread um, now you can use any bread that you have on hand, um, white bread or pre oats bread, um, up to you. Um, and I'm just going to spread it with some um, butter. I have salted butter, um, so that's the only butter that I have on hand, but feel free to use um, margarine. Um, now you can remove the crust, um, I prefer to leave it on as it gives um, a bit of a crunch, like the crispy um, edges in your pudding. Um, now you can add as much or as little um, butter that you prefer. Um, now you can cut your bread into um, triangles, but I'm going to just cut it up um, into little pieces um now I have also buttered a oven dish Um, okay, so once my bread is all cut up um, and buttered, I'm just going to place it aside um, and then you're going to make your custard, which is um, all that uh, bread and butter pudding is. It's just some bread um, and a custard. I'm going to add six eggs. Um, I have extra large eggs. Um, to my eggs, I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Um, and for my sweetener, I'm going to add um, a full can of sweetened condensed milk. Now you could of course use um, just sugar. Uh, probably a half a cup um, or to three quarters of a cup. Um, it depends how sweet you want it. Um, and then I'm going to add a liter of milk. 
Um, now you could also add um, some fresh cream. Um, but today I'm only adding the milk. You could do half cream and half um, milk. Um, now, I'm also going to add half a teaspoon of nutmeg um, and half a teaspoon of cardamom, fine cardamom, but um, it is up to you. It's not necessary. Um, and then I'm just going to whip this up um, just until all my ingredients is nice and combined. Um, okay guys, so once all my um, custard ingredients was nice and um, combined, I'm just going to pour it straight over my bread. Um, and I'm just going to use a spatula um, just to press my bread down a bit. Um, what I also like to do is just sprinkle um, some fine cinnamon over top. Um, I have some extra butter and I'm just going to cut into some cubes um, and I'm just going to just add it to my mixture. Um, which is optional um, course. Um, and I'm just going to sprinkle um, some fried cinnamon. Um, and then it's going to go into the oven for um, plus minus 50 minutes to an hour, um, depending on your oven. Once your custard is set, um, then your pudding is done. Um, okay, guys, so my bread pudding is out of the oven. Um, I just melted some apricot jam um, that I'm just brushing um, the top um, now of course you can serve your bread pudding as is um, you can serve it with some custard some fresh cream some nestle cream um, totally up to you um, but please give this video a like 
um, please subscribe if you haven't already click the bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and i'll see you in the next one bye guys